This is a little harder than we thought. <laughs> wow. Training day for Carl. <laughs> Meet our new cameraman. Lots of local people don't even know this exists. It's a local river that exits out to the ocean and there's actually, the bottom half of it actually has salt water. So this is a unique little ecosystem that even the locals don't even know what's going on. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another pursuit. All right, guys, so today we are at the bridge. Literally, this bridge goes to nowhere. Uh, it's a flaw in design. They built this bridge that went straight directly into a historical church and they ended it on the other side. So we'll show you uh, in a little bit here what that looks like. But apparently what's going on is we were talking about, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do uh, tomorrow for fun? And the conversation came out that there is some is this salt water or fresh water? Uh, brackish. Oh, brackish water. So it's kind of mixed in with a little salt water. But behind us, in there, uh, there are some freshwater oysters that are not even freshwater, brackish water oysters. So some oysters there. And uh, we're going to dive and knock some off the rocks there or the concrete piers and uh, get some lunch for us. So we got up. Um, to hit the low tide and it's about 6 a.m. in the morning here and we're gonna go get some oysters. You're gonna see a lot of damaged areas, piers, walls, lights and everything. This place was just hit really hard uh, last December with a huge typhoon and also a huge flood, the ones that broke the record and uh, it's pretty sad but the Town is recovering, strong people. Oh, look, there's a little crabs here. I had no idea what to expect, and uh, the water was. Murky, uh, I didn't think we would be able to see under the water, but to our surprise... Lova. <laughs> deep! Yeah! <laughs> have to smash it but I I don't which was to look for but yeah that, that, that's, the, that's the right one I think it's too small this might just be the shell oh, the yeah. shell. There's nothing yeah, in there. it's nothing in there I I'm, can see a thing I know <laughs> he has the, he has a mask okay I'm gonna try to just go and try to bring one up okay okay it's so hard to get off there's a, I saw a big one yeah I know they're big ones Okay. All right, this is a little harder than we thought. It looks like we're uh, risking our life with a little current in the water. We're going underneath these piers, pilings, and uh, going underneath to try to break away some of these oysters. There's some oysters down there. They're huge, but they are embedded and married to the concrete. So we're swiping away with them at the, with the axe, and hopefully we'll break some loose. But man, this is a, a little tougher than I thought it would be. We got to work for our everything over here. <laughs> Anything that's good in life is never easy. All right, but I'm going to try to catch this on camera. It's, the water is murky, as you can see. But when you get down about 10, 15 feet, it gets cleared up down there. So uh, we'll see if we can break one loose or break a few loose. 
Pretty dark down there. I'm getting pulled by the current. You buddy got one. Look at that. You're swinging at that thing. <laughs> Look at that thing. It looks pretty big, but that's an oyster for sure. And that's right. I have to go for it. I'll get the next one. I have to earn mine. Oyster from Lobok. <laughs> Lobok Ridge. How is it? Salty? No? Yeah. A bit so salty. Ah. Because it's, it's why I, on the top it's uh, fresh, but underneath it's salty. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to get one. It's my turn. Okay, the tricky part was holding on to something while you're trying to smash away at the oysters and the currents pushing you in and under the bridge. Um, and so with all the debris from the storm before there's logs and stuff so you just don't want to get caught and stuck down there. There's a couple of them. <laughs> wow, you're almost beating my <laughs> I think I dropped one or two. Wow! I think we figured out a little bit of it. We gotta go a little deeper, go from the bottom ones that are, are clumped up together and try to break them off as little grouplings. Well, got one. A hundred more of these, and we can have lunch. <laughs> well, one by one. Gloves is a must when dealing with this stuff. Wow, that's bad. <laughs> if they're stacked up on each other, it breaks off easier. Fresh oyster. Very salty. <laughs> Very fresh. Very plain, not a, a lot of flavor. Yeah. Definitely not as sweet as the ocean oysters, but so salty. I didn't think yeah. it was gonna be that salty. <laughs> All right, that needs some sauce, but puts that on some rice. <laughs> we, we got lunch, let's go. <laughs> not bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot more dirty too, like brown, no, but it's no. not. It's really clean. Yeah. Really salty and clean flavor. Yes. It's not in the mud. It's, it's uh, hanging up. Yeah. More than to tell you the truth, I didn't know what this thing was filtering and with the water being so murky and it being brackish and then there's people that live along the river, um, I don't suggest that you eat this raw, but luckily nothing happened. So in my culture in Cambodia, there is a dip called Tak Trai Jilo and it is a lemon, garlic, uh, sugar um, and fish sauce base that we're gonna prepare to make with these and we're gonna barbecue these up just not fully cooked um, but like medium rare and keep them juicy and we're gonna cook this up and enjoy. The Pursuit of Coconuts, the first ever YouTube channel documenting the startup of a crowdfunded social enterprise. So join us as we share our journey to start a global business based around coconut products. We'll need your help 
your insight and your support to make it all possible. The Pursuit of Coconuts is just more than a blog. It's a tribe here to change the world of business. So join us on the pursuit, the pursuit of coconuts. Mm -hmm.